What's going on guys? It's Marcus back here again with Lotori. Today, I want to introduce you to the newest theme that we're going to do. It is the quest for the JDM Corvette. Now, I've had a bunch of JDM cars in the past. Uh, prior to the Corvette, I had a WRX. I also used to drive a G37S. And I even used to drive the Fit as my very first car back, way back in the day. But I took a little bit of a different turn. I haven't seen that many Corvettes, especially ones that look really, really good and follow the whole JDM scene that we're all used and also love to seeing as well. So I wanted to try something different. I wanted to marry the world of American cars with the world of Japanese cars and put it together into something that we never have seen before. And by JDM, I'm talking about JDM inspired from all the Japanese cars that we've seen, not taking actual Japanese parts and putting it on the Corvette. Although that would be pretty cool and maybe something we do later on. So I had to take a step back and think, what makes a JDM car? And also, we don't only want it to look good, but we also want it to perform well. One of the most beautiful cars that I think I've seen on the JDM market is a red NSX. And they just are a classic look, they look great, they perform great, they sound great. And it's something that I'm gonna take my inspiration for when making the JDM Corvette. And I've boiled it down into three different areas that I personally believe make up a JDM car. One, you have to have stance. That's, that's just the name of the game. You know you're gonna have to have it, right? You have to be low. If you're not, then I, it's hard to count. It's hard to count it, right? So I'm gonna need to find a way to make my car a lot lower. Some of you have already seen the how to lower your Corvette video, which or how to stance your Corvette video. And it's, it makes it a little bit lower, but we're going, we're, we're, we're trying to make it seriously low. So that's the first thing. The second thing you need is you have to have nice fitment. And of course you have to have nice wheels. We have to have nice tires as well. We wanna make sure that the wheels really, really stick out perfectly, make sure they're nice and flush with the rest of the body. And that is something that's very, very crucial to JDRM cars, in my opinion. Last but not least, we've seen it in initiality. We've seen it in a bunch of videos that we've all seen. It has to be able to not only race well, like I said, with performance, but we also want it to be able to drift. So I gotta make sure that at least it can drift, do some great skids and look great while doing it as well. So a lot of different things that I, that I can put on to help with the whole drifting and racing part of it. Those are the three things, stance, fitment, and last but not least, drifting and really decide the parts, the installation, everything that I do based upon those three things. I am super, super excited to be able to go through this with you guys and be able to show you what it's like and um, hopefully come out with a pretty cool car in the end. So this is the quest for the JDM Corvette.